What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a quick tip on how you can composite some atmospheric fall off on top of your distant set extensions that you're adding in Setup Blender. I've discussed this technique in previous videos, but I thought I'd just make a short quick tip video on it as well, because it's one of the most common tricks I use to composite things off in the distance. So if you don't know what atmospheric fall off is, essentially what it is is the layers of atmosphere that should be over your distant elements as they're off in the distance. So a lot of the time when we render out an element in Blender and we're trying to place it in the background it looks very clean and like it's almost in the foreground of the shot and that's because in the real world we get all of those layers of dust and atmosphere and pollution whatever is in the air essentially that kind of lifts the shadows of that distant element the further off it is in the distance so you can do this a lot of ways inside a blender you can use a mist pass or z pass a lot of the time to composite it very accurately if you're trying to do it in a procedural way with multiple elements in the scene but the technique i'm going to show you right now is a super simple way you can do that in just the compositor by using a simple mix node. So this is the shot we're going to composite these uh, CG sci-fi blocks into and as you can see if I go to render view here we just have placed these City Builder 3D sci-fi blocks assets off in the distance here and these are actually some brand new assets we've added to our City Builder 3D asset based add-on for Blender. These are some sci-fi blocks by Rui Huang and they are a part of our City Builder 3D add-on procedural pack so if you have that add-on already be sure to download that update and you should see it when you install that new procedural pack uh, under our city builder tab it'll just be our sci-fi blocks complex here and then you can uh, you know change the general variation of the uh, sci-fi blocks to get different styles of results procedurally anyways this is going to be the shot we're going to add that mist to as you can see the elements are looking fairly clean right now and they're not looking too bad but we can definitely make them better in the compositor so i've rendered out these elements on this view layer and i'm going to go into the compositor and add a little bit of atmospheric fall off to them so I'll go ahead and go to the compositing tab here. And there's a little aspect ratio issue here that I have to fix, but I'm just gonna roll with it for the sake of this tutorial. So as you can see here, what we have going on at the composite right now, we have our live action footage combined with our CG render of our sci-fi blocks here. And I've also duplicated our movie clip here and uh, used a distance key to uh, key out the blue so that we could actually overlay this part of the building on top of this sci-fi element here. So we obviously don't want this to be in front of this building here. So that's all this uh, node setup here is for. I've just overlaid that as well. So as you can see, if I turn this off, you'll notice that our sci-fi blocks is not composited behind our building here very well. But anyways, to add that atmospheric fall off to these elements, all I'm going to do is in front of our foreground CG elements here, I'm just gonna press shift A. We're going to add a mix node here. And as you can see now all of our background is white and what I'm going to do I'll go ahead and bring this to zero real quick and I'm going to take our color select tool of the second image input for this mix node and then I'm going to select the color of the sky here so I'll go ahead and select it like that and now as you can see here if we bring our factor up slowly you'll notice that we're having some mist in our scene however we're also replacing our entire background other than what's rotored out with this keyed element here with that mist. So we only want the mist to be overlaid on our CG elements here that we've rendered out. And we want the alpha channel here where there are no CG elements to remain unaffected. So to do that, what I'll do is I'll just press shift A, we'll add a converter, set alpha, add this right after our mix node, and then I'll connect the alpha output of our CG render into this alpha input and now as you can see here the only thing being affected by our mix node is the cc renders now obviously this is too much right now but you can see that if we dial this factor down all the way down to say maybe 0.16 maybe that's still a little much maybe just 0.1 let's try 0.1 there we go so you can see the kind of the difference here now there's before and then with that mix node added, we're just kind of lifting the shadows in a way that matches our live action shot. So by taking the color of the sky, you can more effectively lift the shadows in a way that makes sense for the environment. And yeah, that's a little technique you can use to composite your CG elements a bit better. There are obviously some other compositing steps we need to do here. For example, our CG elements are a little sharp compared to the rest of our shot. So what I might do is just add a filter blur node here, make it bokeh, increase the X and Y blur. Now that's already looking a little nicer. Just kind of taking the edge off the sharpness there. We could also add some glare on top of our entire image. But first, let me just add it to our sci-fi blocks here. So I'll press Shift A, I'll add a filter glare. 
add it right here and you can see we're getting some streaks on some of the hot spots of our image which is kind of a cool look i might increase the quality to high and then increase the streaks to maybe five so we have five streaks on each of our bright spots just kind of a nice look what else can we do well we can add some more glare on top of our final composite as well perhaps color correct some of these elements a bit better. For our CG environment, we did have an HDRI uh, kind of similar to our live action shot here, just lighting our CG assets. So that did match the lighting fairly effectively, but we could definitely, you know, add some color correction to the final shot, as well as these individual CG renders. Maybe give it a little uh, color depth here. Give it a little more unique look there and perhaps, you know, duplicate this by our main asset as well. Push a little green into our render because I think they're running a little bit magenta. And yeah, something like this is looking a little bit closer here. Of course, there's a lot we can do for this shot, but I just wanted to share that quick tip on how you can lift those shadows in a little bit more realistic way on those distant elements to give that feeling of the element being off in the distance. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to see next on the channel, and I will see you in the next video.